Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer, as always, here for you. And today is a great day because I'm going to show you my most anticipated games for PlayStation VR 2. Now, what's great is we know that the PlayStation VR 2 is coming February 22nd of 2023. And yes, I did get my hands on a pre-order. So I am super amped about that and I cannot wait to play it. It's going to be so cool. I think, uh, you know, a lot of the features that are on this is going to be game changing for the VR industry. And I just can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, so with that being said, I did get my hands on a Horizon bundle uh, with the charging dock, the Sense dock, which I think is a great deal for the price. And uh, you really can't beat it. So I just had to put money down and get it. So it is what it is, you know, a little expensive, but I got to have it. So without further ado, once again, this is my most anticipated games for the PlayStation VR 2. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see y'all soon. Horizon Call of the Mountain is definitely going to be one of those games that you must play when you get your PlayStation VR 2. First and foremost, this comes with the bundle that I bought, so it's already going to be the first game that I'm loading in and playing. Now, I was not a massive fan of this series. Um, I played a little bit or halfway through the first one, and that's really about it. Uh, so... The thing is, I just wasn't into the game. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just the time I was playing it, but it really didn't interest me. Now that everything's in VR, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, there's something about just being able to shoot your bow and arrow at crazy, you know, robotic dinosaurs and creatures. It's, it's just appealing to me. Um, and then the other really big thing is just look at the environment. It, it has a huge sense of scale. Uh, when you're in VR, um, you know, it just is beautiful. I really am hoping that this game is going to be at the quality of production that Half-Life Alex is. And um, from what the trailers look like, I really think it's going to be. So fingers crossed that this game is as good as it looks, and I just can't wait to play it. It will take all your wits, your skills, and courage. walked in the shadows, Reyes. Now it is time to climb into the light. The Exorcist Legion VR Sin. There's not much I can say about this. The trailer doesn't show too much, but if you can go off of what you played on the very first Exorcist game in VR, you are definitely going to be in for a bunch of jump scares. The really cool part about this one is it's supposed to be co-op this time. So who wouldn't want a co-op game where you can scare the living daylights out of yourself? This is just another must-play horror game for me. Neolithic Dawn. This game is really cool and I've been following it on Twitter for a while. Uh, this game is made by one guy, so it's a single indie developer, and it looks really neat. It basically puts you in prehistoric times uh, where you're basically uh, the first man on the planet. Uh, it has you hunting, it has you fishing, it's basically a full survival game that just looks absolutely amazing. Um, you know, Basically what you're seeing here is the Steam version of it. I hope it comes to PlayStation VR 2, from what I understand it is, and it's probably gonna look twice as good on it. Not only that, it just kind of brings everything back to the roots, and I think an educational game like this would do everybody really good. Resident Evil 4 Remake. So, this is not an official PlayStation VR 2 game, but because of the release date, I am really hoping that they throw a VR mode into this game. They already have a VR mode for 7 and 8, 
So hopefully we will get really lucky and we'll see a mode for the PlayStation VR 2 in full VR. I would be super stoked and if they don't do it, they are severely missing out. Um, I have been able to play uh, on Steam through the mods Resident Evil 2, 3, 7, and 8 all in full-blown VR and it is absolutely amazing. So a native PlayStation VR 2 uh, remake VR version of this game would just blow your mind. Either way, there will most definitely be a mod for it on the PC and I will be playing it on the PC at the very least. But I'm hoping we get a version of it on the PlayStation VR 2 that I can natively just hop into. It'll probably run better and look better. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Stranger Things VR. Who the hell doesn't want a Stranger Things game in VR? Now, from what I understand, they've made an experience for the Quest 2 that was pretty wild, and apparently it's coming to PlayStation VR 2 as well. And uh, yeah, I think this is just a great, great VR uh, idea, and I can't wait to play it. Up next is Lo-Fi. Now, Lo-Fi is already available um, basically on the developers itch.io you can pay $35 and you're able to play this game right here right now on the PC but from what I understand they are trying to work on a version for it for PlayStation VR 2 now if you have not heard about lo-fi lo-fi is basically an open world cyberpunk in full-blown native VR and if you haven't played it it is most definitely going and paying for the alpha version on Steam. It is absolutely amazing. It's breathtaking. Everything in the environment just looks spiffy and massive. And there's just so many cool things you can do. Um, even just walking around and looking at the environment is totally worth the price tag and it being on PlayStation VR 2 with the better graphics and the haptics and all that stuff, it's just going to be insane. Ghosts of Tabor. What can I say? If you have not been watching my videos uh, since the very beginning about Ghosts of Tabor, you're missing out big time. So make sure you check out the playlist that's right on the main page of my YouTube. I have plenty of videos on this game. This is going to change how we play esports in VR. This is basically an escape for Tarkov in VR. I have been playtesting this game for the developers, Combat Waffle Studios, since the very beginning, and every update just gets better and better and better. Um, this game releases in March of 2023, and we are definitely going to be getting a version of it for the PlayStation VR 2 later on, 
I have already pre-ordered this game. I know 100% that this game is going to be everything that you want out of a shooter. It is former military guys all developing this game. So there is a ton of realism in it. So if you're not playing it, you are definitely missing out. Mixture. Mixture is basically uh, a revamp of what Moss should be like for gamers that like combat. Alright? I got extremely, 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 I cannot express enough, lucky to play this game in its entirety just a few days ago. Mixture is going to be a Moss killer for people who like nitty gritty environments and combat. Just think of moss, just dark. Uh, basically, you're playing a moth with a companion character named the Alchemist, and it is just insane. Check out the trailers. Hopefully I can share some gameplay with you here soon, but there is a PlayStation VR 2 version of this coming out, and I had a blast every second playing this. You already know we cannot skip out on this game. Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution is definitely going to have a PlayStation VR 2 version. Now, with that being said, the Quest 2 version just hurts really bad. I cannot believe that they threw out the Quest 2 version before PC and any other version because those of us players that played Chapter 1 on PC are used to the graphics and we're looking to ex explore that environment. The Quest 2 version lacks extremely hard. All I gotta say is I think I'm just gonna skip the PC version and wait for them to iron out all the bugs and go straight to the PlayStation VR 2 version. That way we have even better graphics and hopefully everything is ironed out. But I, I cannot wait to actually play this game with the actual graphics because it truly does make a huge difference uh, being immersed in this environment. All right, now we have another horror game called Propagation Hotel Paradise. There is a game already called Propagation that is basically made by the same exact company that is kind of a stationary co-op shooter. And it's actually pretty scary and fun. So naturally, they have pretty much made a full-blown horror game out of that kind of environment and uh, background so I can't wait to play this the first one was cool with the some of the jump scares where you couldn't even walk around in the subway station so having a full environment I can only imagine exactly what they're gonna do but so far it looks great and I can't wait for the PlayStation VR 2 version Crossfire Sierra Squad. Now, some of you know that this game is already on flat screen and it isn't the greatest. The story is pretty good, but some of the combat and gunplay is kind of garbage if you ask me, but it does have a good story behind it. So, Sierra Squad is going to be specifically just for PlayStation VR 2 
and it's basically just going to be another crossfire game in full-blown VR. Um, I think it has the potential to stand out. The trailer looks great. Uh, the environment looks amazing. And the guns actually look like they kind of work from the trailer here. So, hopefully this game will be much better than the flat screen version. And uh, I can't wait to play it. I definitely will try it at least and see how it goes. Once again, only on PlayStation VR 2. And uh, as always, I'm a fan of shooter games. The Bounds VR. So this is one that I literally know nothing about other than the fact that there is going to be a PlayStation VR 2 version. Let me just read the description off the website. The Bounds VR is a virtual reality adaptation of the first prototype developed by Build the Light Studio, part of an overall work of Project Louisiana. Proudly inspired by games such as Resident Evil or Silent Hill, the Bounds VR will let you explore a mansion and unravel its secrets. Stroll through the swamp of New Orleans, investigating your daughter's disappearance. Unravel the mysteries of a voodoo cult whose interest seems to be revolving around your daughter. Once again, will you be strong enough to face the truth? And that is straight off their website. And all I can say is it sounds good, it looks good, and I am a sucker for VR horror games, and I will be playing it. Well, well, well. You have decided to join the game. Soul of Karu. At least I think that's how you say it. Basically, this is another moss type game that looks very interesting, but they are inspired by the Metroid series. So this is kind of cartoony look looking once again, um, but it does have that moss feel to it. And I am all about the story that this is going to provide and the environments that you're visually going to be looking at, which are just stunning to me. Uh, I'm a fan of the character art and the characters. So I think this might be a real winner. Um, there, this is going to be on PlayStation VR 2 as well as Steam and uh, there's puzzle solving in it and pretty much everything like the Moss series. Uh, so I'm hoping this is a good one to pick up. Firewall Ultra. So, this is the game that made me go out and buy a PlayStation 5, finally. Firewall Zero Hour was probably the best, and probably still is the best, well-rounded VR shooter that's out there. They have nailed every aspect of the Rainbow Six world in a VR game with Firewall Zero. So Firewall Ultra is going to be the successor to that and I'm hoping the better graphics and just some of the better all overall gameplay is going to be there because Firewall Zero Hour is still the best VR shooter if you ask me personally. So playing the Firewall Ultra in PlayStation VR 2 is just a must, an absolute must for me. All right, another scary game called Do Not Open. I'm looking forward to this. The vibes of it just look absolutely amazing. I am just so all about 
horror games in VR. I think it's the best way to experience the platform. I love jump scares. It's just going to be amazing. Uh, this one does have a flat screen version, but they are porting it over to the PSVR 2 in full-blown VR. It's kind of like Resident Evil, Evil style. There's all kinds of puzzles and things like that. All at the same time, getting your jump scares from crazy beings that are running around the environment. So definitely, definitely at the close to the top of my list uh, for PSVR 2 to be playing. Uh, they showed this in a trailer at one of the gaming shows, and I was just like, yep, that is an absolute must-have game for me. Ghostbusters VR. What else is there to say of this? Once again, this is a flat screen game that I absolutely love looking at. I have not played it yet because I am waiting for this full-blown VR version. Uh, it is coming to the Quest 2 and the PlayStation VR 2 as well. And uh, I think this game right here is going to be a blast because it is four-player co-op absolutely the best idea ever for a co-op game in vr who doesn't want to go catch a ghost throw them in your trap use a proton pack all while cutting it up with your buddies this is just i i can't wait i think i'm more excited about this game than anything else to be honest with you ghostbusters rise of the ghost lord coming in 2023 genotype this is a game that not a whole lot of people have heard about. First off, I want to say that this may or may not be coming to the PlayStation VR 2, but I am very, very hopeful for it. The developers have kind of hinted at it, but we will actually see. So, Genotype is basically based in Antarctica and is based behind the whole entire UFO theory that's going on in Antarctica. This is going to be a wild game if you are into conspiracy theories and the like. So make sure you follow their webpage and stay up to date with their newsletter. That's everything that is Genotype. Last but not least, from Skydance Interactive, is Behemoth VR. We saw a trailer for this a while back that hinted out some pretty cool stuff. It was nothing but a snowy scene, but hey, I don't know about you. Anything that's a snow environment captures me right off the bat. And I think it's like that for most of y'all, too. So, this trailer here was actually announced at the Game Awards of 2022, just a couple weeks ago and finally gives us a little more insight as to what Behemoth VR is going to be like. It's going to be absolutely insane if you ask me. It looks like it's kind of like a Skyrim-ish uh, type environment. Um, one can only speculate about what this game is really going to be like, but just from the, the combat scenes, the characters, the environment, everything that they're showing here, uh, in the trailer, I am all for. I absolutely, positively cannot wait to get my hands on Behemoth VR. I applied to be a play tester, so hopefully I'll get my hands on that, and I will definitely let y'all know exactly what's going on as soon as I can. <laughs> 